All right, Dan. Get her done. Eights and fours. We are historic shipwreck salvers, and we salvage the remains of the historic 1715 treasure fleet. Basically what that entails is coming out and excavating sand more than anything else. You know, most of the artifacts that remain from these shipwrecks are laying on the bedrock, covered by multiple feet of sand. So our, our what we try to do here, our objective, is to set this boat up in an interesting area, you know, close proximity to where other treasure has been found, and then we excavate the sand on the bottom of the ocean. We blow that sand away, uh, we swim down there with a metal detector and see what's left. The 1715 Treasure Fleet was one of the largest maritime disasters in history. Eleven ships departed Havana, Cuba on July 24th of 1715. Seven days later, they're sailing along the east coast of Florida out here. They get hit by a ferocious hurricane that sinks all eleven ships. That was on July 31st of 1715, exactly 300 years ago this year. We find shipwreck artifacts almost on a daily basis, but it's along the lines of a musket ball, a spike, a piece of pottery, something like that. Uh, the larger, more you know, the headline-making finds, gold, silver, large you know, caches, um, are a little bit more rare, but they happen with regularity throughout the summer. You can never predict them. You never know when it's going to come, and all of a sudden, bang! One day it's there, and the next day you're on the Today Show. So it's uh, it can be pretty surreal. Awesome.